Here's the first sample I'll use. Across the world, across the ocean, you are, you are, are. Across the world. This trick can work with any reverb, so you can use any plugin you want, but I'll use Fruity Reverb too. Turn the wet all the way up, and the dry all the way down. Make sure the decay of the reverb is all the way down too. This trick will make the input signal sound very washed out, but also, like it's in a small room. To get a more realistic feeling, you can mix the room reverb with the dry signal. Across the ocean, you are, you are. Across the world, across the ocean, you are, you are. Or automate it to make a cool transition into a lo-fi or future garage section. Across the world, across the ocean, you are, you are. Across the world, across the ocean, you are, you are. Here's the second sample. Sidechaining your reverb to its input signal can be very useful because it helps maintain dynamics and it can also help with mixing. Across the world, across the ocean, you are, you are. First load a peak controller before the reverb. Link the reverb wet to the peak. Across the world, across the ocean, you are, you are. Adjust the peak controller so the wet signal goes down whenever the sample plays. Across the world, across the ocean, you are, you are. Here's an example with drums. You can use this trick with other effects like delays, so your mix doesn't sound too clustered or busy. Thanks for watching. And let me know if you learned anything new in the comments. Bye bye, Uwu.